Alright guys, um, we're back with another WWE 2K24 video, um, you already know we're doing, uh, 30, I forgot my own video, take two. Alright, you know we're doing the 27 Royal Rumble winners in a Royal Rumble to see which one is the strongest Royal Rumble winner of all time, which is the ultimate Royal Rumble winner. And, uh, yes, Wade Barrett is not a Royal Rumble winner. But we're going to have to play as Wade Barrett, come in at number one, eliminate two other people, or just do whatever we can to get the first three people out. And then from there on, it's just game. And that's it. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in the match, mate. Here we are. The two superstars that drew number one and number two will start <sighs> at the same time. All right. Other superstars you don't need to see the entrances because it's not going to be any of the Royal Rumble winners coming in first. You don't need to see that shit. The Royal Rumble is All right. Really one of our most Here we go. It don't matter if we go out straight away or if he goes out. As long as we get the first three people out. Fine. Alright, one more person to go out. Well, two more, including myself. Here we go. Apollo Cruz, once we get him out, we then have to get Wade Barrett out, and then it's game. But he don't want to go out. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Like I said, I don't care if it's Wade Barrett that ends up going out instead of Apollo Crews. As long as someone goes out, you know. And Randy Orton is number one. Okay. Let's play as Randy Orton now. All right, there we go. Successful. There we go. First three are all out, and Randy Orton didn't even get touched. All right, who's Randy Orton starting with? Lex Luger, okay. Randy Orton winning 2009 and 2017. Lex Luger, I don't know what fucking year it was. But he was, uh, he won during the year where there were two winners, him and Bret Hart. Yes sir, only one superstar. Who is it? Two rag Vince McMahon. Yeah, we got Vince McMahon coming in. Yeah. Oh my god. What a choice it was for Vince McMahon to put himself as the winner of the Royal Rumble. Crazy, isn't it? But Lex Luger stays in it, though. Durag Vince. Absolute menace. But Randy Orton is a menace as well. John Cena. Look at it, take John Cena. Oh, Randy Orton gets sent out by Lex Luger. First elimination of the match. Wink, wink. Randy Orton is out. I've got to make a prediction here. And uh, my prediction to win this whole thing is going to be... It's going to be Yokozuna. My prediction to win, Yokozuna. But John Cena is kicking both their asses right now. As Seth Rollins comes in. Seth Rollins, Mr. 2019 Royal Rumble winner. Gets swatted by Lex Luger. Obviously, John Cena was, I believe, 2008. 
or seven. I think he was. Oh! Seth Rollins eliminates Lex Luger. But I think John Cena was 2008. And Batista. The second. Oh no, not the second. The third two man. No, the third two Royal Rumble winner contestant. Batista win in 2005 where he was in the last two with that man right there, John Cena. And they had that little uh, <laughs> that little thing at the end where they both fell out and it got restarted by the other man <laughs> in there right now, Vince. And Batista also won 2014. And who's coming in now? Shawn Michaels. He won back to back as well. Well, not as well, but he is also a two, two Rumble winner. And his was, I believe, 1995 and 96. And he's just dashed Vince out straight away. Okay. Now, you know, we have done a few of the, uh, the Royal Rumble videos on this channel. Batista has won one before. He won the 30 Legends Royal Rumble. Okay, well... My prediction is in at number 11. That's not good, is it? That really is not good. Oh. He's swamping John Cena and Batista, though, right now. Oh, maybe not anymore. Oh, God. Shinsuke Nakamura, 2018 Rumble winner. The year before Seth Rollins. Oh. Yeah, drop your predictions down below of who you think's winning this. Here comes Roman Reigns, 2015 Rumble winner. Following Batista's Rumble win, the man who he was uh, the runner up of, I don't know how to word it, the man who he finished the 2014 with. Batista and Roman being the last two of 2014 Rumble. Just, just for Batista to dash him out. And then Roman, uh, he won next year. The very, very controversial Royal Rumble match. Where even The Rock got booed. Okay, Undertaker. Which I believe was 2007. I don't know. Also, Yokozuna, I'm not sure which year he won, but I think it was like 1993? Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh! Batista eliminated Roman! Just as we were speaking about 2014 Rumble. He's done it again. And Roman was not in long. Roman was the most recent entrant, I think. It's either Roman or Undertaker. But Roman is out already. Oh, God. And Batista just nailed Taker with a Batista bomb. Oh, sh oh, Seth Rollins eliminated uh, Shawn Michaels. At least I think it was Seth Rollins. We've got Cena and Taker stunned on the mat. Oh, that used to be Seth Rollins' finisher back when he started the Shield. Oh, here comes Edge, 2010 Rumble winner. Absolutely terrible face model there. But the body and the, uh, the tights look good though. Oh, 
Oh, Batista is looking to eliminate John Cena here. We're about to get another one. And he does. Batista's eliminating all the runner-ups. He eliminated the man that was the runner-up to him on 2005 and 14. John Cena and Batista. John Cena and Roman Reigns, I mean. Here comes Sheamus, 2012 Rumble winner. The Royal Rumble that Chris Jericho should have won. No credit taken from Sheamus. Oh, Batista got a roll! And my pick just got eliminated by Shinsuke Nakamura. Bro, Batista is on a flipping roll. He's eliminated Roman Reigns, John Cena, Seth Rollins and The Undertaker. I promise this ain't scripted. See, if it was scripted, why would I let my boy eat a shin fucking... What's his, what's his name called? Kinshasa. Why would I let my boy take a Kinshasa like that, huh? Batista is my favourite of all time. Yes, I have just been riding his fucking meat talking about all of his fucking rumble wins and how he won the 30 Legends rumble. But this ain't scripted. Neither was that one, by the way. But here comes Ric Flair. I don't know which one he won, but for some reason... 97 is screaming at me, but I think that is terribly wrong. But he won the Rumble, which was for the WWF Heavyweight title. And Batista bomb to Sheamus. Batista has been slamming, bro. Here comes the Rock. The 2000 Rumble winner, I think. Getting ready to send one over. I think I'm right in saying that. 2000s. And Batista has now eliminated Shinsuke as well. Five eliminations for Batista. Five eliminations is crazy. And Lord Voldemort at number 19, the man whose name we don't say. He won 2004 Rumble, I'm pretty sure, as well. The year before Batista's first. Oh. It's actually a shame, because like... Oh! Batista eliminated by The Rock! The run of a lifetime is over! And the very first... Why is he bald? Oh, it, it doesn't matter. The very first Rumble winner, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. But yeah, what I was saying, it's actually a shame what happened to Benoit and Eddie Guerrero, man. Because, like, both of them two were being set up to be, like, the first huge names, the first faces of the company, if you, if you, if you will, that weren't just a big jacked man, you know what I mean? They were the first amazing in-ring superstars that were getting pushed. As the 2011 Rumble winner, Alberto Del Rio, comes in. Terrible choice for a Rumble winner. Also, the only ever 40 man um, Royal Rumble, the biggest Royal Rumble ever, not including the greatest Royal Rumble, because that does not count. But yeah, anyways, going back to what I was saying, obviously Eddie tragically passing away, and obviously the absolute nightmare that happened with, with uh, Benoit, yeah. But uh, here comes Eddie's boy, Rey Mysterio, winning the... Oh, I don't know. I'm giving up with these. I think it was like 2001. No, not one. 2002, three. I don't know. One of those. And Alberto Del Rio just got nailed. Thank God. If Alberto Del Rio wins this match, I will riot. Setting up an elimination here. Oof, that knee knocking the wind out of him. 
Yes, Ray. Yes, Ray. Get him out, Ray. Ah. Oh. oh, but Benoit and Edge keep themselves in. That's lethal. And Ric Flair is probably going out here. Nope, Edge completely fucking missed like an idiot. Del Rio thinks he's Mark Henry. Okay, well why did Rey Mysterio not even get a chance to hang on there? Rose only just came in. Give him a break. But yeah, Rey Mysterio eliminated now. Don't know which number we're on. I think it's like 20. Del Rio on the top rope now. But he stays in. Oh, Jim Doggan just got saved by Chris. Why is Doggan just staring at... Okay, thank you, Shameless. Oh, never mind. Oh, we're getting a first-person view. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Brett Hitman Hart. My... Oh, Jim Doggan dashes the rock out. As Brett Hart comes in, the man who... Drew? I guess the Royal Rumble with Lex Luger, both of them winning on the same same day, same match. Almost eliminated straight away by Del Rio. That would have been tragic. Listen, as long as Del Rio don't win this match, I'm happy. And uh, Lord Voldemort, I'd rather he didn't, you know, for obvious reasons. I don't know how I would feel saying at the end of the match his name in the same sentence as Ultimate Royal Rumble winner and the best one of all time. Don't know how I'd feel about that. We've got Triple H coming in now. Again, don't remember which year he won it. Fuck me, I, I'm so bad with years. Oh yes, Del Rio's out. And so is Paul Duggan. And Triple H, oh! Triple H nails Ric Flair, his mentor with a pedigree. As Seamus fucking makes Edge eat a bro kick, bro kick Looking for elimination here. and then stares at him. Stay alive now. Got Benoit just stunned but standing. Oh, Sheamus eliminates Edge. There he goes, right into the corner. Hooked up. Ah, oh, shit breaker. Listen to this crowd count the next one in. Stone Cold Steve Austin coming in at 25. The only 96 rated left in this match. We had The Rock and Undertaker, but they've both been eliminated. So statistically speaking, by overall, Stone Cold has the best shot here. But if we're going by numbers, we'll see who gets lucky number 27, eh? If that's even still a thing. Okay, Voldemort has been eliminated by Sheamus. And Sheamus just got saved by Bret Hart. Big John Studd now. The second Rumble winner ever. Following the win of Hacksaw Jim Duggan.
And Ric Flair dashed to the outside, I believe, by Triple H. Maybe it's on cold, though. Who's getting lucky number 27? Drew McIntyre, 2020 Rumble winner. Obviously, he won his Rumble to main event the Pandemic Mania, which is heartbreaking to be fair. He finally got his moment after like over a decade or so. And uh, yeah. It was in front of nobody. That's actually horrible. Here comes Hulk Hogan at number 28. Stealing Batista's position. I'm going to stop talking about Batista now. Yeah. Drew McIntyre is eliminated already. I think it was Hulk Hogan. I saw Hulk Hogan throw someone over. But I don't know. Listen to this crowd count the next one in. And Bret Hart eliminates Triple H. And number 29, Cody Rhodes, the most recent Rumble winner, winning back to back 2023 and 2024. Obviously, Stone Cold Steve Austin winning. 98, 99, and 2001 Rumbles. The only ever three-time Royal Rumble winner in Stone Cold Steve Austin. Who gets third? Oh. Oh, no, I'm getting flashbacks of, of uh, <laughs> Royal Rumble 2022 here. Pony Brock coming in at number 30 and winning the whole thing. Please no. Please no. I'll actually cry. Please don't. But yeah, Brock Lesnar winning uh, either 2002 or 2003, I think. And uh, the second one was 2022 where he did exactly as I just said. He came in at number 30 with his little ponytail and he dashed everybody out to win even though he was the last person that needed to win that rumble. Yeah, one of these six men are going to win this match. I was going to say seven before Cody Rhodes eliminated Sheamus. We got Brett the Hitman Hart, Brock Lesnar, Hulk Hogan, Cody Rhodes, Big John Studd, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. One of those men right there are going to be the ultimate Royal Rumble winner and the greatest Rumble winner of all time. No. When it gets narrowed down to five, I'll give my prediction. But it's not my proper prediction because my actual prediction was Yokozuna, but he got dashed out within like the first 15 entries. Yeah. Even if I get this prediction right, I still lost. But uh, just for, for the sake of like a little bit of fun, I'm going to predict once it gets down to the final five. Fucking hell, I don't know what happened there. Yes, Hulk. Oh! Who did Cody eliminate? Oh, Big John Stud. Cody Rhodes eliminates Big John Stud. Brock Lesnar reverses that one. Uh, Bret Hart reverses, I'm sorry. Cody Rhodes. Oh. Stone Cold Steve Austin and Hulk Hogan working together to try and eliminate Brock Lesnar here. But they don't get it. 
catches the kick. Oh, we're down to the final five now, though. So I will make my prediction. Oh, Stone from Stone Cold. And on that note, I'm not going with Stone Cold because he's almost out. In fact, he is out. Brock Lesnar eliminated him. I am going with Hulk Hogan to win this. Oh no, Brock Lesnar's clearing. Brock Lesnar just eliminated Stone Cold Steve Austin and Cody Rhodes. It's going to be one of these three men to win this match. Brock Lesnar, Hulk Hogan, Brett Hitman Hart. One of those three men, one of those three names, is going to be the ultimate Royal Rumble winner. And Hogan trying to eliminate Bret Hart here. Is he going to get it? Is he going to get it? He might get it, he might not. He doesn't get it. Bret Hart stays in this match. One of these three superstars is on the verge of a career-making win. Here we go. Who will it be? Oh, oh. <laughs> just did a front flip for no reason. What's happening? They just stared at each other for no reason. Kick to the gut. Oh. If I want any of these to win, I don't know. To be fair, I'm fine with any of them winning. None of them would be my favorite option, but I'm fine with any of them. But my prediction is Hulk Hogan to win. Hulk Hogan may go out here though. Hulk Hogan is eliminated. My pick is out again. Bret Hart and Brock Lesnar. One of these three, one of these two, sorry, men is going to win and become the greatest Royal Rumble winner of all time. Brock Lesnar looks like he's had the top half of his tattoo lasered off. I feel like Bret Hart's winning this. Bret Hart, I think he's done it. Why are you doing that, Bret? Why are you doing that? This could be the beginning of the end. Uh oh. shooter applied. Oh, he's been absolutely slammed with a sharpshooter. And he's let him out. What's he doing? He's letting him come back in. He's taking the absolute wee wee with him. And now he's dashing him over again. What is he doing? What is Bret Hart doing? Scripted. Scripted. This is rigged. If you placed money on Bret Hart, you've been screwed. Oh, and I feel like Brock Lesnar about to win this now. Nah, outrageous. Brett just screwed himself twice and you can't even be mad about it. You can't even be mad about it. He screwed himself. And Brock Lesnar has won. From it's over. To that area. Brock Lesnar's won. Oh, Bret Hart coming back in though. Oh, maybe not. Setting up an elimination here. He's trying. Can he get him out? Can he push him off the edge? No, Brock Lesnar stays in it. Oh. 
This may be the most intense final two that I've ever done on this channel. Oh man, turns that into a devastating shot to the knee. Dodges. Oh my god. I'm rooting for Bret Hart. Because seeing Brock Lesnar win after what Bret did to himself there will just make me sad. And he's nailed him with a sharpshooter again. Getting ready to send one over. Can he get it? Can he get it? Lesnar is low. He's teetering off the edge. He does it. Brett hit man heart wins the match. There have been 27 male Royal Rumble winners over the years. But Bret Hart is the greatest of them all. One of only two men to actually draw the victory. So that's kind of crazy. But there you have it, guys. If you did enjoy this match and this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It would help me a lot. Turn on the bell, of course, to get notified when I go live because I stream this game a lot. Or to get notified when I drop new videos on 2K24 or others. Thank you for watching and see you later.